Hello everyone. Today I wanted to show you how to create your own custom overlay for in-game display. There are already some ways to add your own overlays into game, for example NZXT cam, but it often does not work. The other way, for example EVGA Precision XOC does not show CPU statistics and most popular MSI Afterburner does show some useful info but it lacks customization options you can't add voltages or any other advanced statistics and that's why I decided the way to go is take case in your own hands and create your own custom overlay and I'm going to show you how to do it. First of all, we are going to install necessary applications. We are going to use HVO Info 64. This tiny application is something every PC enthusiast should have in their system to monitor temperatures and stuff like that. The Next application is RTSS, Rivia Tuner Statistics Server. Basically, how it's going to work is that RTSS is going to display the actual overlay in our game, while HVO Info is going to provide statistics and data to display. Yeah, yeah, let's install it. Next, next, next. Installing. No, I don't want to see README. Okay, done. Let's begin our customization. First of all, it's really helpful if you start up some game in windowed mode. This way you can change things in your desktop, in the overlay, and you can instantly see the change in the game. This way we are not working blind. Let it just start up. Now I'm going to launch HVO Info and by the way you can see that the overlay is compatible with SweetFX or Reshade and other customization presets. Now we started RTSEs, by default it's here in the taskbar, start bar. Let's move it somewhere in here. We can make it start up with Windows, which is nice. We can just start it up and forget about it. And we have some more customization options. We will talk about them later. For now, you can see that RTSS on its own does not show any statistics. We need to open the source, the HV info. The first launch of HV Info will be welcomed by this tiny welcome screen. In here we can launch it either in sensor mode or summary mode. Summary mode is basically a report of your system. That's why we are going to pick the sensor mode. After that we can open settings in which we are going to change the way HV Info is launching to make it practically invisible. First of all, we are going to disable show system summary on startup. We don't need it. Then we are going to make HV info launch minimized with sensors on startup and also check the minimize sensors instead of closing. After that, we disable the welcome screen and progress. So 
it's practically invisible now. At the same time, if you want, you can select the auto start option in here. After that, we can run info. Depending on your hardware, you can see some kind of warning. This one is related to Asus motherboard. I will simply disable these few sensors and continue with launching info. And this is it. Now give me a moment so I can move the window around, resize it a bit. In RTSS you can move the overlay from corner to corner. You can control how much of the sensors is showing up on HV info. Oh my god, where it is? There it is. Yep, you can expand the window into more columns. And if your monitor is big enough, you can fit everything in one screen. Almost done. Hold on. And... This is it. Almost. Yep. So, this is it. The HV info. I will just adjust something. Yes, the name was too big. Now I can see everything in one place. So yeah, everything you are seeing here right now on your computer, depending on your hardware, it can look a little different. But anything you are seeing here in NHV info can be added to your own custom overlay. This much information of all sort. This is just awesome. Before we start configuring our overlay and customizing it, let me just move stuff around like this. Okay, we have the game, the RTSS, and HV info. So, how do we add? the overlay. First of all, we select any statistics from the list and we open the configure sensor settings and the OSD tab. In here we find the statistics on the list and just toggle show value in OSD. And that's it. We have our FPS. After that we can select another statistic. Let's start with our CPU. We will look for total CPU usage. The way it shows up on the main window, it's same order in the list. We will show it in OSD. We will show also the label. After that, let's find CPU clock. And let's add also the voltage. Yes, the voltage. And finally, the temperature. It was somewhere like right here. There it is, core zero. Okay, so now you probably noticed that all statistics are being added in the same line. This can become troublesome in the long run. That's why we have this field position. We can change the way each statistic is organized in our overlay. Let's start with the... what was the first one? The CPU usage. We will leave it as the first column first line. Then we want our clock in column 2. Next, we want the voltage in column 3. 
and finally let's add temperature to the last column 4 and finally let's just move the FPS to the line 4 because we are going to add later something in between yes line 4 ok as you can see now everything is organized the way we wanted it to be but there is this long name total CPU usage it's showing exactly as it is on the list and it doesn't look nice that's why we have option to customize the label we can just find this one the total CPU usage and simply rename it to CPU and there it is CPU much nicer what else can we add let's see memory let's add some information about our memory what it is it's named memory timings where are memory timings I've seen it somewhere in here somewhere where it is there it is let's show it on display let's change it position to the second line there it is and now let's customize it more and now let's customize it more we will first of all change the name because memory clock is too long where is it where is memory timings I keep missing it I don't know why there it is let's rename it to simply RAM and now let's remember that DDR stands for double data rate if on the screen it shows us 1600 in reality it's 3200 that's why we are going to multiply this value by 2 so it shows accurate RAM speed there it is and finally we can remove the extra decimals or we can change the thousand separator or even the unit anything you want now let's go back to the OSD nope not this one this is system try we want the other one the OSD RTSS and we are going to add some more RAM statistics yes this is the right tab we are going to add some memory load and let's change it line 2 column 2 let's make it show up right after the speed now let's show how much of memory is actually used column 3 and I think that's it from the RAM let's add something more now let it be GPU statistics we are going to pick the same statistic we used for CPU so first one will be GPU load let's select it from here show value show label line 3 column 1 next let's show the GPU clock
next one will be core voltage. And finally, GPU temperature. And that's it. Now let's customize our GPU core load into more display friendly name. We will change it to simply GPU. Yes, that's right. And this is it. I just created a simple OSD with very specific information, very detailed, and I made it just the way I wanted it to be. After adding all the data you want, we can move to other kind of customization. In RTSS itself we can change the font type to some classic Vector 3D, Vector 2D or the default Raster 3D. We can turn off or on a shadow or we can create a solid colored box in which our OSD is displayed. We can also change the color of OSD, for example to red. And then we can change the background. And we can also make the OSD bigger or smaller. Just like this. If you want some more customization, you can override the settings of RTSS and change each statistics color directly in info. So for example, let's make the CPU green. Let's change the voltage to blue. And we can select another one. Let it be GPU and change it to orange. We can have any color we want, full control, full RGB. This is what PC users like right now. Yes, average RBG everywhere. <laughs> and that's it. This is how you create your own custom overlays. Now it's the time for you to play around with HVO info, move stuff around, adjust everything to your own needs and create the perfect overlay. Oh, and one more thing, last but not least, if you finally created the perfect overlay, spend a lot of time in customizing it and adjusting every tiny detail, you can create a backup of your settings by right-clicking info, opening settings and selecting this option. It will create a registry file that you will store somewhere safe and when you delete info, reinstall your system or anything like that, you can simply install info again and then run that tiny file to import all your settings into registry. And that would be all. Thanks for watching. I hope you learned something new. And if you enjoyed the video, please like, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching.